everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Cerise here, and for today's video, I am sharing my Countdown Bricks journey with you guys. So I'm gonna be opening all the starter packs and setting them up so you guys can see them. So this is a little kind of vlog style. Um, yeah, I got the whole collection today, so I'm just going to unbox them and show you what they look like. So if you guys don't follow me on TikTok, uh, these are the Countdown Bricks. This is last year's ones. So each set, there is like one set, and you're meant to create one whole Countdown with one set. But I got so many, I got to make not one, not two, not three, but four sets of Countdown. And I ended up just making like weird stock rooms, putting Legos in it as well. There's like a little deli and a bakery. And then we've got some shelves here. And then here is like the checkouts and the freezer area in here. All my little guys and stuff. <laughs> some more Legos in there. Then we have like the fruit and veggies, the deli down in here, some trolleys. And then here we go as well. So all the workers. And I've even made like a little mini stock room and then a little break room as well. So that was last year's. This year, they are doing farms. So they are doing a farm collection and I brought all of the starter packs, all of the little sets. It was about $100 for all the starter sets. Last year, I only managed to get the, um, what did I get? I got the truck, the mini truck, the car, and the starter pack. I didn't get the people and I didn't get the road. So this time when they came out today, I made sure I got it. So this is everything. Um, <laughs> I made sure I got it all. So definitely good value for money. They are like the cutest things. I'm going to go through everything now. So here is the puzzle play mat. So that is kind of the base that you put everything on. So you must be able to put your farm in one place and like the cars can go along here. Just a really, really cool thing. And I think that was about like $10, $12. These all range from about $8 to $15. $15 being the most expensive thing and and then there's like $10, $12, all of that. These little people I know was $8 and I missed out on the farmers last time. So now I have the farmers this time and they're so cute. But also compatible with all those people and of course other Legos as well. So we have the farmers there. Then we've got a wee quad bike too, which is really cute. Like look at the little person on it. It's just so cute and little as well. Then we have the first little house we've got here. So this is the starter kit. So that is like the first plate like the bottom so it must be this size here as well so everything will just fit like on there if that makes sense so that must be like that bottom because that was one whole starter kit but then I evolved it from there then we have a farm shed here so that's got a base plate as well so this is a nice wee farm shed so I might be able to put cows and stuff in here I love that it's farm this year because it's so much more like I mean the supermarket's pretty cool but it, this is pretty cool as well this is a bit much more versatile then we've got a trailer, which goes on, I guess, one of the cars. So we'll kind of put that in the car pile. This is more building pile. Then we've got a milk tanker. So that's pretty cool with a little driver in there as well. The cat's just <laughs> fighting to come into the room. Then we have this tractor here, which I think the trailer can go on. There's my cat there. It's like saying hello. So we've got a nice wee tractor there. A truck. And then we've got a... <laughs> yes, hi! We have a farm truck here, which... It's got a little bearded guy. He's pretty cool. And then we have the harvester as well. So we've got the little harvester there. And then I also do have three of the little brick sets. So these are, if you spend $30, you get these. So I've only managed to get three with all of this. So it's going to be a while before I can get all 40. Um, yeah, hopefully people can donate some to me. Um, I know a lot of my friends and family collect them for me last year. So hopefully they can do that again. So in this whole set... There's two little base thingies, a road, and then we have one, two, three, four, five. Essentially six vehicles, which is a little bit excessive compared to last year's where there was only one of the small mini trucks. And then I've got a truck there, like the, oh, wait, hang on, it's focusing. One of the big trucks there, and then it had a little car, whereas this has quite a few. But I'm glad I have the place map because then I can actually map out where everything goes. So that's pretty cool. But that is all the stuff that we've got. So I think once it's set up, it's going to look really cool. Is that right, Fred? Biddy. Are you excited? Yeah. Do you want this? No. <laughs> but this is actually quite heavy as well. I probably shouldn't have put it on. But I'm excited to set this one up too because it just looks really cute. It's a cute little farmhouse. Uh, I like the little fences it's got there. And everything can be intertwined into it. I wonder if it will have... No, it's just got the pieces on there doesn't have a map like some of them have like a map of how you oh here we go so this is what the whole collection should look like here so we can put the milk tanker there truck there 
the little oh so the what do you call it this goes with the tractor so that's cool and then i've got little people oh you can get a little dog and sheep and cars i want all those and then little like things oh look it all attaches oh my god and pigs pigs are you freaking kidding me chickens okay i need all of these these are little you can get fruit trees oh my god okay I feel like I'm going to fall in love with this. This is so freaking cute. I need all of those animals as well. Uh, that is literally so cute. And you can intermingle all these two. And now that I have a play mat, I could check a countdown on there. Why not? I mean, where could a countdown fit on here? Maybe here. We can just biff a countdown. Why not? Put one of them in. But that is so cute. All the things on there. I like how it does give you like a map so you can see where everything is. So yeah, that's really So if you guys cool. want to see me open these and uh, do in-depth videos of them, that will be over on my TikTok. This is just kind of an intro to the bricks phenomenon. I probably will do it in my YouTube shorts. I'll probably put like the progression of these all opening and stuff. Might do some lives. I'm not sure. But leave me know in the comments down below what you guys think, but I'm really freaking excited. So until next time, I love you guys so much and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.